Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boys <laughs> back with another video. Today's video, we're gonna be going over some simple and easy and affordable mods for your price of 300. Start it off. We're gonna we're gonna go underneath the hood. I didn't do anything crazy. It's just like I said, simple mod. So we went with a K and N cold air intake. Doesn't it doesn't do like anything ridiculously crazy, but gives you that little bit of extra power. Makes it sound better too. If you don't have an exhaust or anything, it makes it have a nice little rumble. Makes you feel good about yourself a little bit. Perfect. I went with the Chrome version, even though Scott yelled at me about it because he said it gives you less horsepower than the, the regular one, but I don't really care because it looks better. It was around $290, I think. I don't know, that was like the first thing I bought for this. I think I did the taillight tint and that was the second thing after that. It's just a 3.6 liter V6, you know. Not big time like Mike was. Shout out to 3.6 liters. Shout out to 3.6 life, boys. I recommend getting one of these though. I got a little help because I don't work too much on cars. I just, I just clean them, just the detail. Next on the list is just all the tint on the whole car. We'll start with the headlight tint. Got it on Amazon, it's very cheap. It was only like $10, $12. This is the light smoke. It was uh, from Vivid. Vivid light air wraps or something like that. All the side markers is in the very dark color. I did all that. that was, all of this is pretty easy to do. You can do it yourself. You already seen the tail light. The tail light I'll we'll show you it again. They're very illegal here, but I haven't gotten pulled over yet, so I mean. Nah, they're not illegal at all. They're actually perfectly legal. They actually. Actually, wait, yeah. I think they they're, actually recommend you a stock. <laughs> I didn't do anything to these. I think, I think they actually recommend you that you just completely blacken out your headlights and tail lights. Yeah. <laughs> More car crashes, more deaths, you know, population. <laughs> Jeez. I also got all the windows tinted and the front. I didn't do that myself because I knew I would have failed at that and I didn't feel like wasting money. So I took it to a professional and it probably cost me around, around 300. I haven't got pulled over yet either. So, so far so good. I think any car, you should get your windows tinted. I think it just makes the whole car look 10 times better. Next up on the list, number three. Boys and girls, if there's any girls watching this, shout out to my mom. <laughs> All right, I did a carbon fiber wrap on the emblem. Something slight, you know, something a little, get a little flavor to her. And I also took off the front, front light, so I think it looked like shit. Look like shit. Same thing with the back. Like I said, something light, just to get a little, little, little I was thinking, let me know in the comment section if you care at all, but should I just debadge this whole thing? Get rid of this, and this, you know, should make it look good. I've seen it, it looks clean, I think, but I don't know. I'm 50-50 with it right now. This was chrome. It's kinda different white, but I wrapped it white. I also deleted this chrome up here, wrapped it all black. a lot better. I mean, new spots because people were coming in hot. I think there's some baseball practice going on, you know what I'm saying? So, let to move a little bit. Move on to item number four. It's a brand new John Cena furniture for my door. Yeah, but for <laughs> real. All right, you know what item number four is besides the poster? What is it? Spoiler. Ooh. I think this might be the most important mod out of any 300 that you can get. Newer body style. Car look ten times better. I wouldn't. I didn't think that at first, but like we sell 300s at our dealership, and I notice them a lot more now. And they definitely look ten times better with a spoiler on. You're supposed to drill into your trunk, but that's scary. I'm scared of that. But you also have the chance of your trunk leaking water and rusting out and stuff if you drill into it. So we just did 
3M tape, double-sided tape the whole way across it, a bunch of it. And like I said, I think this is the most important one. I got it on Amazon. It was like 120 bucks, and you can choose which paint code your car is, what you want on there. And it, it came perfect paint match. Everything's good. We're moving on to the next mod. Easy, affordable, simple mods. All right, we're going to the inside of the whip. We got some diamond floor mats. I really wanted these when I saw them the first time. I was watching YouTube videos about 300 and stuff like that. I kind of like this one the, the most, besides the spoiler. I like this one because it just makes the whole inside of your car pop, makes it look really good. More luxury too, I would say. You can get a whole bunch of different colors and different designs as well. But I went with red because red's my favorite color. If you don't like it, you can break off. It goes the whole way in the back too. Covers everything. They're kind of like weather tech mats, but they look a lot better. They're like leather, pretty much, so if you want to know what kind of they felt like. We might be able to put a link to all these things in the description below. Maybe we'll it. You can't really tell right now because it's daytime. I got these LED lights underneath, and uh, they go in the front. They also go in the back. The easy classic mod, but it looks really good at nighttime. We can put up a picture right here. That one's pretty self clear for it. And you get to choose what the lights do. They, you can make them flash. You can change the colors to green, blue, white, yellow, whatever you want. Last but not least, it eh, might be least, I don't know. Those are Challenger, Charger, Hellcat or Scat Pack pedals. I think they're a lot better looking than the simple, stupid little black pieces of junk that they give you. The gas pedal one, very easy to put on. But the brake one, you're gonna hate your life for about half an hour to an hour trying to put this back on. That's gonna wrap it up. These were six? Six or seven. Six or seven easy mods to do to your Right, the 300. It completely changes the look of it. I think it looks a lot better. I still got a lot to do. I can show a before and after picture of what it looks like now compared to what it looked like when I first got it. If you like this kind of video about the 300 or Mike's Gladiator, you need to like the video, first off. You need to comment if you think we should do anything else to them or if you want to see any more of these kind of videos. And if not, then, you know, we won't. But give us some support. We also want to thank everyone who's been subscribing lately. We just hit, reached 400 subscribers. 400. Oh. Oh, I can't feel my hands. It's, it's cold. I think, what was it? I put out a picture on Instagram. Beginning of the year, we were only at like 20 something. And at the end of 2020, we had 393. We reached 400 so far, but. That means by the end of this year, we can hit 1,000, no problem. All thanks to the support of you guys. We really appreciate it, watching all the videos, liking all the videos. Even if you dislike the videos, you know, it's whatever. You see how it is. Just making a young YouTuber's dream come true, even though we're not that young. You know, we're just having fun doing this. We, we'd do this even if we had one subscriber, you know what I'm saying? It's just a good time. All right, y'all, catch you on the flippity flip.